Hey everybody, this is World War Guy here today, and as you can see, I'm doing a bit of a different video. This video is going to show you some books that I very much enjoyed while reading, that are perfect for anyone who's interested in history, more notably World War One and World War Two. Uh, I have a lot of other books. Sadly, I'm not a very vi big, very avid reader. So the books that I do read are very good books. You know, like, like simple to read and not too complicated, if you know what I mean. But uh, these are the books that I have read or in the process of reading, and I very much recommend you guys read them. The first one here is, a, as you can see, Poilu, the World War I Notebooks of Corporal Louis Bartas, who was a barrel maker, 1914-1918. Uh, uh, this one is a, a man who, who was in the French army, who kept secret notes and you know notebooks, diaries, whatever you want to call it, that was strictly forbidden in the French army, but you know he didn't care, I guess. And he just wrote down whatever he read, you know what, basically life in the trenches. He talks a lot about the life, as in you know the food, the shelter, the fighting, the people, the superiors, you know generals and all that. And it, it gives a very good insight on how life was for the average poilu during World War I. Uh, these were, this is obviously translated because, you know, he was a French soldier, he didn't write in English. And it, it's very interesting because it opens a new perspective, such as how they treated Germans, for example, or how the food was, how their superiors w were. And, uh, like, for example, one thing that... I, I remember from the book is that he explains whenever they weren't doing anything they're always digging up new trenches so it's like you go fight you get some rest eat and then you dig some more trenches and you dig more trenches and and so on very good book very interesting especially if you're interested in the French army speaking of World War one here's another book that you guys are probably quite familiar with all quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Remarque, and I apologize if I completely butchered that. But this was written by a World War I German veteran. He fought, you know, German army on the Western Front. But this book is not about his experience. It's a, basically a fiction, a historical fiction, where basically all the characters are made up and the scenarios are made up, but they were average or very basic or generic experiences on the Western Front for German soldiers, such as, for example, uh, there were rats. You know, that's pretty well known, but he kind of makes up his stories with the rats. That's just an example. Uh, this book is very good, you know. It has made up characters, and, you know, there's dialogue because it's basically a fiction novel, but it very much opens your, your view of the German soldiers during World War I, how their life was. You know, so I very much recommend this book. It really shows the horrors of war, you know, such as the gas attacks and the rats and the mud and so on. So definitely check this out. Next book, you guys are probably all familiar with this one, is With the Old Breed by Eugene B. Sledge. Uh, Eugene Sledge was a Marine during World War II who fought on Peleliu and Okinawa. And uh, he kept small notes in his uh, small Bible or New Testament. And later on after the war, I do not believe when after the war, how long he waited, but he put it into a book, as you can see with the old breed. Uh, this is really great. His writing is very you know, easy to read, easy to follow, and very vivid as well. Uh, I do remember that as he was writing this, as he got to explaining his experience on Peleliu, he had his wife write the rest of it because the horrors of the war, war were too much for him to put it down on paper. But I do not remember if his wife wrote the rest of the book or just that particular section. Either way, very good book, very much recommend it. It very much explains, again, as with every war, the horrors of the war. But uh, it also shows that the Americans were not always the good guys. Uh, one example is, as they're on Peleliu, Eugene Sledge remembers seeing a Marine dragging this uh, Japanese uh, from the ground. 
and starts taking his uh, K-bar and trying to chip out or take out his, the Japanese golden tooth. The only problem is that the Japanese was still alive and uh, he was kicking in and hitting and everything and then which made the Marines slip and basically cut the Japanese uh, cheeks you know from ear to ear and uh, just stuff like that it really shows you you know <laughs> during war everyone can be you know a monster and so on but it's, it's very good to to understand of course he talks about how horrible the Japanese were and it's just a very brutal book you know there's really some some scenes in it that just are terrible and it also uh, since he found Okinawa it shows you you know the perspective at the later stages of the war you know how new recruits were so poorly trained such as one example is that this uh, on Okinawa they're on a hill and they had there's this one in particular uh, new marine who was throwing grenades at the Japanese the only problem is that the grenades when they're they're delivered you know shipped and all that they're in these like cardboard containers and you peel the tape off the side open the container then you have your grenade well this guy didn't know that either he forgot or just never got the the information about that that's not the grenade so he was peeling the tape off these cardboard containers and tossing that at the Japanese thinking that was the grenade so the Japanese when they received it they opened the the cardboard containers pulled the pin of the grenades and threw them back at the Marines things like that kind of make you chuckle but you know that was the reality of the war so very good book highly recommend it another book you guys are probably familiar with is helmet for my pillow by Robert Leckie uh, Robert Leckie was a marine during, during World War II and he fought on Guadalcanal uh, the the other islands I always have a trouble remembering the names and he fought as well on Peleliu, there, New Britain. There was another word I was looking for. Uh, this one's good because it it explains you know his experience during the early stages of the war, and it shows you know how they thought of the Japanese. You know he also explains his training, and a very good book, very similar to Eugene as well in the sense that you know they both fought in the Pacific and all that. Uh, very good book, highly recommend it as well. And last book that I very much enjoy is Grunts by John C. McManus. This is a book actually from a, a historian. He didn't serve uh, in combat, at least I don't believe so. And this one just explains different battles throughout World War II, Vietnam, and current day as in like Iraq and Afghanistan you got some, some cool pictures in there as well and it was really good I very much enjoyed the World War II section obviously uh, because he talked about uh, Guam Aachen Aachen uh, there's more Uh, different battles and it, he was very vivid in his explanations he had different accounts from uh, different soldiers or Marines and it just really gave you an idea of just how you know brutal it was for for these uh these men and of course in this whole book you also have Vietnam which was interesting I learned quite a bit of new stuff uh, and then, of course, there's the the modern day, which I do not remember exactly what it was about. Uh, it was a while ago, and but it was very interesting, very good book, very informative, and a very easy read, as in it's no no complicated words and sentences and everything like that. So I very much recommend it. So yeah, that concludes this video. Those are five books that I very much recommend for anyone who's interested in history to you know go to a library and pick up and or Amazon and buy it or whatever if you enjoyed the video please drop a like if you want to comment on any other book you highly recommend please do so I can check it out and so other people can check them out and if you haven't subscribed yet you should definitely subscribe and besides that you guys have a great day